Hello and welcome to Animoiopolis. We are the greatest hidden object players in the world, Aquatic Edition. My name is Michael. I'm Amanda. And here we go, baby. It's water slide. Oh, I see we're being distracted from the water slide. Uh, some more paper tickets. Didn't we climb up this water slide last time? Uh, I don't know. The game start resumed our game with us staring at it. So I sort of assumed that's the direction we're supposed to go in. Huh. Well, here we go. Anyone who's curious about where we left off, more curious than us, is welcome to watch our last installment. Because we're not watching it. We're not going back. <laughs> Only forward, baby. Ooh. Forward into the three-foot-deep pool. Wow, that seems a little dangerous. How tall are we? If this is three feet deep, it comes to maybe our knees? <laughs> if we had feet? Wow, we got feet. Look at that leap. Well, you Cricket knew we powers. have giant in indestructible legs. 20 tickets. 20 tickets. Yeah. We're rich. <clears throat> we knew we had giant indestructible legs because we have taken no fall damage so That's far. That's true. We've fallen from some heights. Even though we have jumped some pretty major heights, yeah. Can we get inside here now that we can crouch in this game? Uh, maybe. Oh, <gasps> look at that. I can go up. Uh, can you see where you're going? No, I can't see where I'm going. Going at all. I think we tried this last time, actually. I think we actually tried backing into it so that we could judge whether we were hitting the first curve or not. Yeah, and I don't think that you can go all the way up it. Actually, aren't you supposed to walk on it, maybe? You're supposed to walk on it. That's how we got down here. Yeah, yeah. Not from the inside, but the outside where you can see. Alright, so... But you wanted to go back up this slide? I think that's the deal. I think that's why we were up there, is because we had to go up here. I keep, I keep having every white thing catches my eye now, because I'm always looking They've for tickets. They've trained you so hard. <laughs> like the equivalent of a truffle pig, except for tickets, which are honestly harder to smell. So take that, truffle pigs. <laughs> You're looking for a very stinky, what is it, a fungus? A yeah, truffle? it's a mushroom. Yeah. Easy. Easy when it comes, when it's compared to finding tickets. Alright, so, where on earth? Well, you got the tickets that were under here. Right. So, I guess we go through these doors? Well, when the, no, when the game resumed, we were facing away from the doors. Yeah. Which really feels like it was telling us the rest of the game is away from those doors. But I, but we definitely went down that slide into that area and then there's no other way out of that area but to climb up this yellow slide no oh, you can climb on top of the other colored slide the green one yeah you want to do that pretty sure that's how it worked in the demo that is how it worked in the demo but it was backwards in this okay i'm pretty sure well let's do most it. importantly we can go back down this slide we <laughs> that's really what you want yep more time going down the water slide. Because I'm not crazy. Like, this is all enclosed with glass, right? There's no way yeah. out of it. Correct. So you hop on top of the green slide. Right. There's and something then, out there. Yeah, and I, I know from playing the demo more that this takes you way back in the map. But the weird thing is that, like... The demo, we had already been to that area before, right? Yeah, we had climbed our way up to here. The demo went the other way around. Right, we got here through a different route. So, I don't think we There's have... There's tickets down to the left. <gasps> That's Can how I... they lure you off of the slide. Yeah. I mean, it's... Okay. Pretty sure this is where we're dropping off anyway. It? Yeah, because we're not going to be able to follow it into the next room. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Look, all the way up here. It's dumb of us to be climbing up this high, but we have Eventually, no fear. Eventually there's a metal bar that keeps us from going further. Right, but we can come up and get off here. Uh-huh. But I think this is where we came from in this version. Hmm. And so there's not anything left 
to do here? I'll play in the kiddie pool. And the other pool. Oh, I kind of remember going down these steps and there's tickets to your left. Oh yeah. We got these last time we were playing. Because then I told you if you go across this white pathway and swing a right, there was some stairs that we were going down. So yeah, we have apparently lost some progress from the last time we were playing. It was a left down these stairs was progress. So I guess what we didn't realize, it was going to make us backtrack a bit when we restarted the game. Here's the thing, though. We we were here before. Yeah, and I begged you not to open every last one of these. There would be nothing in there. I'm not going to do it this time, though. <laughs> I just want to remind you that uh, time on this planet is fleeting. <laughs> no one on their deathbed has ever said, I wish I opened more lockers. They didn't know that there were tickets in some of them, though. Measly five tickets. Tell that to the nice nurse when she drops off your applesauce. <laughs> say, I got five extra tickets. <laughs> and they'll say, I'm going to disconnect this nurse call button. <laughs> Why are we going up higher again? Uh, because I just told you that in this version of the game, this was where we came from. We no, came we, from here. We did not go upstairs. I guarantee this is the way forward. See? We're being given things to observe. Nothing about these pools makes any sense. I wouldn't have figured that out on my own. <laughs> Thanks, protagonist. You're really pulling it together. Why are you backtracking again? I am not! This you didn't the go same. through the door you just opened. Go through got, the door you I opened. I got disoriented. I thought okay. that it, when it pushed me back, I thought that I was... Well, you know, it. nothing about this room makes sense. Remember what our protagonist said. That's, true. That's our watchword. Yeah. But yes, the door opening turned you around and went back into the room we were trying to leave. All right. Was that another ticket thing? Uh, wow, thing? good eye. Or nose, whatever you're using. <laughs> I don't understand how any of this works. They got me trained. That's for sure. They got you trained. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, let's stay with the brighter area. I mean, we know what's through there because it was in the demo. I don't remember it. It's a traumatic event. Blocked it out. <laughs> oh, no, I remember this, too. This is awful. <laughs> this is so bad. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, at least they blocked it off. They, yeah, this was like that in the demo, too. You could block, they would block it off and they'd come right up to it. And I, I just had a memory of it going even deeper for some reason. Something about this sliding pool with the really close ceiling. It's just deeply uncomfortable making. <laughs> Why do you keep pressing our face against it? I keep thinking something's going to come out, shouldn't it? Why would... No! <laughs> Nothing should come out. How many pools have you been in your life? <laughs> Are you always going to the bottom, pressing your face against things and seeing Look, if they I, come out? I've never encountered anybody with a machine gun in real life either. But in a video game, I expect to encounter them regularly. Really? Yeah. I mean, not this Don't you mostly game. play Stardew Valley? <laughs> Got some wild mods on your game. I do have a lot of mods. Did you see that there was a little uh, opening lower? Oh, yeah. And some tickets to lure us in. This looks like a trap. I can't get down there. Is the Isn't there a crouch button? There is, but it doesn't work it doesn't when you're work. in the water. It, it looks like you can grab the tickets from here. Yeah. That was just a reward for looking down there, I guess. I guess we're not supposed to go out through that vent. The way ahead is, again, behind you. It. I can't get up there. You can't jump up to where that staff door is? No. It will not let us jump out of this area, huh? No. Did they take our jump away because we're not staff? That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> That's not what happened. 
<laughs> when you come out of this, oh yeah, they what? also made it so you can't get on that ledge on the right. There's or can a... you? Can you jump to it? There we go. Oh. Let's use our monkey toes. They only hire staff that have very strong toes. <laughs> and now that's us. Let us in. We proved our monkey toe strength. If you remember, we came from the other direction in the demo, and there was a puzzle we had to solve to make this door open. Yeah. But we are on the other side of that door, and we can't get to there now. But we solved the monkey toe puzzle. Well, we're just going to have to take our toes elsewhere. All right, so we're pretty sure there's nothing back that way. Yeah, pretty sure. Is there anything this way? Like, this is not this is also the direction towards the staff thing. What what is this black thing in our way? Uh, it's just a black shape. It seems like like a blind. Is something not loading right. No, it's I think reflective. it's just a blind. No. I think it's a blind behind a pane of glass. Weird. Oh, it is having a weird effect on things that you see the through it. Though. Yeah, the or the re being reflected. No, we're seeing through it to the to the bottom of that pool. Yeah. That light's getting inverted. It's pretty okay. weird. Still, I mean, kudos to them for having uh, reflections in this game at all, which I understand is, I mean, I think is pretty complicated to do in a game. That's bizarre. Any more tickets hidden around by the chairs? This is, we picked the tickets up that were right here already. So let's go to the... This is how we entered. Yeah, I mean, like... So swing right. Once you go through the door. What do you want Behind to, you. What do you want me to look at? Isn't there another door? If you go out through here, hang a right. Isn't there a door on the back right? That's another window two windows in the back corner here. Yeah. I thought that this was another door. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Well, we already know that there's nothing back here. I mean, there's something over here. Which is the... Is it? I thought maybe the window that we were looking through was over here, but it doesn't even look like that next to you. Oh, he's coughing a little because I keep making him drink water. He's got pneumonia. Probably. The silent killer. Poor guy. Okay, so out of this room, the only way out is the door that's directly ahead. Maybe that. Maybe that. Oh, you think maybe turning that opens the staff door? idea what it did. Is the staff door open? I don't think so. I can't see that far. Well, let's see. Run across real quick. This is faster than swimming. No, it's still close. It's still close. It's just you don't really see the text on the glass until you're closer. Mm -hmm. And good, because I hate game design where you're like, yeah, of course a sprinkler controls a staff door. <laughs> Who wouldn't hook those two together? That's insane. <laughs> yeah, but given that, what do you want me to do? Because now we are... We are kind of stuck. Kind of stuck. So one of those leads to the slant pool. Gotcha. Did that respawn already? You've been in here a while. Nope. One of them leads to the slant pool, one of them leads to the staff door, and that seems to be it. Did I say slant door? Staff door? Oh, you're here. Mm hmm. In here. Those tickets respawn? They did not. Not yet? Stairs, 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 stairs. Here's the thing. I don't know if this is the intended way to solve this, but I know how to solve this. 
So do you want me to do the thing that will get us back to where we need to be, even though it may not be how the game is supposed to be played? Or should we keep exploring? Like you think you have a game-breaking route? Not a game-breaking route. Um, so here's what happened. Earlier we were doing uh, sound checks, and I was wandering around to try to get different sounds as we were checking the sound, and I fell into a back area that took us all the way back to the room past the staff door. Mm. So if we went there again and I hop down um, we can just go down that way and we can get back to the other side of the staff door and we can unlock it with the puzzle and for all I know that's what's supposed to happen Could be. like you may be meant to fall at some point and end up where I ended up and maybe that's how I ended up there you know what I mean Barely. <laughs> well, how about you I drop down here? You walk down there. That's where we came back up. Okay. Um, That's what leads down here. to the lockers. All right. And so... Maybe that's also why they dropped tickets around here, so that you would come so down. So lower you down. Yep. So I will be duly lured, lured down. There we go. Is there more in that way? No. So there's where I'm talking about, mm -hmm. right there. Like, if we hop over this railing and go over there, that's going to lead to before the staff door. Should we sure. do it? Yeah. All right. And then I also found a little secret area over here with super tickets. Look at that, 50 tickets. It does seem like it wants to reward you for spotting this hole in the floor. Yep. So it's, for all I know, this is intentional in this tower. This must be some kind of water reservoir. This may be where we're supposed to be. Makes sense. There was a glimpse of a weird figure in the demo when we came over here. I'm not sure if we missed it or if it just wasn't there in this version. Wow, that's bright. And then they used all the light budget. <laughs> Observe. If I drown here, nobody will notice. Buddy, that's been true the whole time. <laughs> so do your best not to drown. Oh, wow. Oh, bottomless <laughs> pit pool. Uh -huh. I don't like that. Especially since, like, oh, hello. Yes, I will take another 50 tickets. Thank you. <clears throat> like, in these other pools, if there wasn't a little stair step, you couldn't get out. So if I get in this, am I unable to get out of it? Let's not try it. <laughs> okay, oh. this is where we were. Yep. It's interesting that uh, fountain is now on. The one that you turned that it, it could not control the staff door. Oh yeah. It's, it's spraying now. It's spraying now. That's a nice touch. Um, so around here in the demo there was a little puzzly thing. To open that staff door. But it was on the back wall, and I don't see it now. 
Yeah. Nope. Maybe things have changed. Seems like they must have. It's kind of weird how briefly your head seems to go underwater there. Yeah. You can't seem to do it on purpose. When I look down, it doesn't let me mm -hmm. submerge my head. Okay, so... Yeah, there just, is nothing to do in this room. There's nothing to do. Except Other than get 50 out, tickets. Get 50 tickets and get freaked out by the super deep pit. Go back through the blinding light. Oof. Now if we just try to open the staff door from the side, will it work? Apparently Ooh, it so. Just, it just opens from the side. Great. We're officially staff. <laughs> Should we try to go back that way, though? No. I mean, like, do you mean in that direction? Yeah. The direction you're looking? Yeah. Yeah, let's try it. Let's follow this uh, walking path. So maybe this door goes somewhere. What does it say? Locker rooms? Ooh. All right, found the next area. It is dingy in here. Oh, wow. Pretty dingy. Yeah, okay. Insofar as there's now yellow sodium lights. This area was behind a bathroom door in the demo. Seems like you can't count on your demo knowledge. Nope. Lots of lockers. Was I getting snagged on something? I was about to ask why you just jumped there. Because I felt like I halted um, and I thought maybe I ran into a bench, but no. Keep moving. Keep moving. What does it say underneath? I think it's somebody's handprint, maybe. Oh, yeah. A tiny little hand. Is there someone in here with me? The important thing when you get advice to keep moving is to stop moving immediately. Oh. Oh, that doesn't look good. No, it's fine. Stay still. I don't think I should. It thinks I keep moving. What, do you just take advice from what anybody is willing to write on a mirror? very big bathroom. It is a very big bathroom. Oh, look at that. Oh! What the hell? It's probably the staff. Ah, look at that shadow. It's kind of a weird Dennis the Menace shaped shadow on the floor. <laughs> Feels a little more serious than that. I don't know. <laughs> Not so serious that you aren't willing to walk backwards into urinals. <laughs> I want to see it. I don't want to see it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. It's just a shadow. I mean. I do like the the encroaching light effect though. Yeah, that's. Where you see the room growing dim. Yeah. That's interesting. But just a flat, 2D stretched shadow is just, eh. Wow, juking it. <laughs> did MLG you hear moves. That the, did you hear that the faucets were coming on? Mm hmm. You can hear the lockers rattle. Oh my gosh. Poltergeist activity. That's cool and spooky. Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's a shame. The exit is that way. <laughs> the exit. Every way! Oh my gosh! <laughs> What's the plan? I don't know. Uh... Take a shower? It is dingy in here. 
And you know, with the hot water running. It makes the showers go on too. Mm-hmm. If you take a shower, you might get more steam and get more advice from people who've been hanging out in this <laughs> locker room. <laughs> Don't like it. Yeah, the showers come on. Oh, I'm lost. I'm lost. You just walked through it. Well, that makes it a little less spooky. Dodge it. Keep moving. I really want to know what sort of uh, advice column you could get just from finger written messages on bathroom mirrors. <laughs> It's an unexplored area that I think inlanders could have been more on top of. Are you sure you don't want to just stop and pee, Mr. Ghost? <laughs> it's all these urinals. It's going to take every right. Hmm. Yeah, it's usually a method of getting out of a labyrinth. And look how it worked. There you go. Every right. So when you're being chased by a ghost or a minotaur, how come the genius who was writing on the mirror didn't say take every right? Something is very wrong. Is there something that's wrong that you can't force yourself into the women's room? <laughs> What was in that locker room? Poltergeist. Why don't you go back in and find out, dude? Yeah, you big chicken. Oh, you're not willing to go back in there, huh? Nope. He is the thing not is, you have to, to go. go back in and write the message in the mirror, and then through time bending nonsense, you sent the message to yourself. <laughs> Ooh, we're back at the mall. Yay! Pool and spa area. Funky soundtrack. Walk that base. Oh man, worked up an appetite. You need so many gumballs. <laughs> well, you know, if that shadow monster comes back, it, it'll uh, trip and fall. There you go. On the gumballs. Just like how in The Legend of Billie Jean, Billie Jean got away in a chase in a mall by throwing gumballs. Wow, that is a deep cut for anybody who isn't us. <laughs> also, it was marbles, technically. Yeah. I bet the creators of that film would have known what we were talking about. It's not just us. <laughs> they probably still remember it. I said it was a deep cut for anybody from us, not that it was an impossible reference for mm. anybody else. I mean, we also saw it on a Museum of Home Video, so anybody who watched that knows what we're talking about. It's a collection of uh, YouTube videos about dead malls. You're finding footage of uh, this guy who just travels the country going into malls that are failing or have already failed, shooting footage and walking around and seeing what's still there. And uh, some of them do still have, uh, like, quarter candy vending machines sitting in the middle of hallways. Yep. Accurate. <laughs> Thank goodness. We didn't see him scoop to pick up any tickets, but maybe he just didn't know where to look. Yeah, tickets have to be a feature of these kind of environments, or they wouldn't be in this game. Like, honestly, if you ask yourself what would bring you back to a mall in this day and age... But with the pandemic and the uh, the furtherment of online shopping, the existence of teenagers, all the other hassles that keep <laughs> malls from seeming like the premier destination they maybe once were, 
I'm just wondering if um And the answer is tickets. Tickets are you hiding down here. Nope. Nope. Oh, the soundtrack's very loud here though. It's pretty cool. Mm. Great soundtrack. I <laughs> love it. Oh, I feel like it's getting real thin on tickets. Oh, <laughs> the bundles of 50 that you picked up just aren't doing it for you anymore? I would rather start... have them paced out, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, like, I wouldn't mind if I'd only gotten 20 before if I got 10 now. Like pretty soon you're going to start slapping the veins on the inside of your forearm to see if you can get them to raise up. Just shoot the tickets right in. Go, run, 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 run. Close racks, close racks. Run, run, run. This hallway is working. They got so much room to put up employee of the month plaques back there. And yet, I didn't see a single one. I think they took those with them when they left. Mm. And we're going back to the front door. Um, you went see. in the door on the right, you came out the one in the middle. Right, so we want to go to this one. Uh huh. I thought I was heading back that way, but I got turned around. <laughs> uh huh. Ooh, stairs. That's a good sign. Is it? Probably. Never been let down by stairs. <laughs> Ooh, this is a completely new area. What is the ceiling? Are those just like big... Skylights? Skylights, yeah. But black? Because it's night now? Because we're still very deep underground, probably? That's true. We did plummet underground quite a bit. Yeah, and and we've taken some stairs up since then, but we've also taken some stairs down. So I don't know that we can count on... The Infinity Mall is a land of contrasts. Locked. Okay. Nothing else. Golden Elevator. Seems like maybe we're... Going to head back to the central mall hub. Going up. <laughs> Long load. that dang poltergeist interfering. Let us go! <laughs> and we're right. Central hub again. Yep. Please wait for one elevator to arrive. Still mm -hmm. got one more section to explore. That's right, and it was like an aerobics area. Were these open before? We have returned from other areas from those elevators. Oh. It could be that there is an open elevator for every area we have already come from. Let's take it to respawn. Because I think there's a closed elevator door there on our right. Oh. And maybe that's the last one. There's two then. There's two. Uh, bang goes that theory. <laughs> well, it's human nature to try to make sense of the senseless, but I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of logic in how this place is laid out. I'm seeing if the tickets around here respawn. Doesn't look like it. Twice since we played this before, he has pointed to glass and said those aren't plants. Just so you know what I have to live with. The 
great thing about it is after a while I can stop and you've just internalized that voice. <laughs> is that great? Saves me some time. <laughs> I guess that's funny. <laughs> so where's the, what's the last spot? Do you remember? We're, we're looking at it. It says replay intro. Oh. Thought we hadn't gone in here because it was something we had done before. What the hell? So when it says we play intro, we drop back into the starting pool. <coughs> How the hell? Why is that a button? Why would anybody want to replay the intro? Right now. Where am I? I mean, that's a fair question. I was kind of wondering it as we pressed the button that said. Replay the intro. Is anybody here? Hello? Hello? But why would there be even an option, you know what I mean? Well, it's not like they sent you back here because those doors are open now. No, because there's one more area we hadn't explored yet. Oh, look. It was all worth it. Well, when we came here before, there weren't tickets, surely, because we didn't know we were going to be looking for tickets. That also means we weren't looking for them, so who knows if they were here. But the fact that they are here kind of suggests that you are supposed to come back here once you know that tickets are a thing that you are collecting. See mm. what I mean? They may also assume that people want to replay the whole game. Hmm. Gotta unlock this again. They really started us over. Yes. Did you want to pause? And we could restart once we got back to where we were? I suppose that makes sense. It's only polite. <laughs> you didn't make the mistake, viewing audience. That was us, pressing a button that said replay intro, and then being surprised that we're back in the intro. Back in a bit. Whammo! Just like that, we've speed run the entire <laughs> intro and made it back to where we were before at the entrance to the aerobic fitness and relaxation. So I'm just pointing out, this does have a ticket value on it and that's why I thought I needed to get in there. Yeah, not falling for that again. Yeah, but apparently the aerobic fitness area was the name for the area where we start out. So this appears we can to tell, be where we're going next. The elevator that has no label on it. Just a spooky black sign. Always a good omen. All right, ready? Let's do it. Let's descend. It's quite a buzz. Tend to go back, huh? <laughs> Tend to go back. Well, that's fine. We've got plenty. It didn't seem to cost us any to go even down here. Huh. What's, what's here? A water fountain that we cannot seem to use. It's good to know that we're not going to die of thirst here, though. You know, all of our wandering. I mean, you could drink pool water, but it's like 90% pee, probably, so... Pretty sure the chlorine will make you sick. Don't drink pool water, kids. Yeah, also chlorine is bad. <laughs> this looks kind of familiar. 
Yeah, I mean, we wandered around an area that was like a conference center. Yeah. Where we would find things like a single chair, mysteriously sitting in the middle of a giant room. But, but this the conference is, area is plainly labeled. It's plainly labeled, and this is much darker. The lights are That's true. much fewer and further between in this area. Luckily, the exits are... Okay, they're not so clearly marked because there's two from this room. Well, that was an exit from that room, all right. Can't deny, that's what it was. And this is a... Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher with no, nothing to do with it. Can't open the little door. Can't yell fire in a crowded theater. They're taking away our freedoms one by <laughs> one. Oh. Another elevator unmarked. That was quick. I guess we could go. Let's try it. Let's go. Going up. Relatively short area if we are in fact getting to leave it. I don't know that I trust that. I guess it'll depend if we're dumped back in the bright mall or not. Yeah. Well, if we get back to the mall, we'll have to try the, um... The exit elevator. The exit elevator again and see if it counts as having gone Or if it there. lets us leave. Right. We are back. We are back on the that top That is one floor. of the ones that I said would open when we were out of the last one, so I feel like I called that. You are correct. Was that the last area we needed to go into? <gasps> Surface! Freedom! Oh, it's wait way too shiny. It's disorientingly wow. shiny in here. So shiny. <laughs> and golden. This is only chapter one, though. Yeah. So I kind of suspect... That we're not going to get out? That this isn't going to open and we're going to find that we're sitting behind the steering wheel of our car. <laughs> You're like, how did this elevator come up through the floorboards of my car <laughs> and deposit me right in the driver's seat? <laughs> oh, someone's out there. Hey. Hey, I'm in this elevator. Settle down. Over here. You know, of all the people who went down there, you are the first person back out. Unfortunately, your knowledge of this place is a liability. What are you talking about? You can't leave just yet. There's a friend of mine still down there. He owes me a few things. I'll think about opening this elevator when he's in it too. Dead or alive. Is your friend a poltergeist? <laughs> yeah, does he haunt a bathroom and locker room? I think we met your friend already. We're definitely gonna get him back dead. <laughs> she sounded kind of Midwestern, huh? Yeah, she sounded Minnesotan. I wonder if that's an allusion to the Mall of America. Well, it's all black, so you can't see it, but I am bobbing my head in time to the music again. And there we have it. That we was... survived chapter one of Animoyopolis and the intro twice. <laughs> and still they couldn't keep us down. What was required to keep us down was a pre-scripted event and the pathway to chapter two. Whenever that's going to come out. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I absolutely love this game. Uh, I'm glad that this time when we were in the locker room, we did see the entity or whatever, the shadow. Uh, because when we played the demo, we managed to never see that thing. Even though I was steering and was uh, I moved through that thing like I was on a mission. <laughs> there were exit signs and I meant to exit. <laughs> And so we never gave that shadowy freak a chance to catch up even once. 
Yep. Never even saw a glimpse of it. Never even saw that black aura around it. I'm like a silvery minnow. <laughs> I dip, I dive. I'm too slick. I'm too fast. And yet when I said I'm getting out of here, I'm just going to take every right. And then I did that. It took me about 20 seconds to get out. I'm just saying. If you were trying to get out the whole time, it took you a lot longer. It's because I trusted the exit signs. Like a fool. Yeah, you just got to apparently take infinite rights. Here's the thing. Slippery, silvery minnows, not known for their problem-solving skills. (laughs) They're very good at being fish. That's about it. (laughs) It is a very accurate metaphor. Okay, everybody. (laughs) Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye.